Maths is all around us. It's almost impossible to think of something that isn't made without the help of mathematics. Buildings, transport, technology, medicine, even clothes and food all rely on numbers, measurements and sums. Not only is maths all around us, it's also in us. Leonardo da Vinci was so fascinated by the maths that govern our bodies that he drew the Vitruvian man to show it. He noted that one half of our body looks the same as the other half. It's a mirror image. We have two matching eyes, ears, arms and legs, which gives us symmetry. He was also interested in the size of some parts of our bodies in relation to others, the ratios. Many of the bones that form our skeleton have a ratio of about 1 to 1.618, also called the golden ratio, such as your height compared to the distance from the floor to your navel. And if you stretch your arms out wide, the arm span, the length from the tips of the fingers on one hand to the tips of the fingers on the other hand, is around the length of your whole body, giving a 1 to 1 ratio. Maths is also used to understand what's going on when we're sick, when measuring our blood pressure and temperature, and to work out how much medication is needed to cure a sickness. With the help of maths, technology such as X-rays and CAT scans were developed to show what's going on inside our bodies. Some body parts are too small to see. So scientists build models and test them using maths and computers to learn about how our body works and to predict how it fights disease. Not only does maths help us learn about our body, but our body helped us develop maths too. You can count to 12 on one hand, using the thumb to point to each finger bone in turn. And we have 10 fingers, so our fingers could be the reason we have counting systems based on 10 and 12, giving us the basis of everything from our metric system to minutes and seconds. In the tips of our fingers and from head to toe, maths really is all around us.